Yudo Daf Mem Tes. The reason why our Mishnah repeats itself twice and says, E Efshar, it's impossible to have upper Simonim without having lower Simonim, but it's possible to have lower Simonim without upper Simonim, is because Rameir brings two Psukim as a Raya to his Shita. Nevertheless, the Allah is not like Rameir. To emphasize the Allah is like Chachamim the Rabbin. Or, because the following Mishnah continues with this theme. It's impossible to have upper simon without having lower simon, but it's possible to have lower simon without upper simon. And the following Mishnah says, it's impossible to have a situation where a Kli Cheres takes on water, but cannot have water leave it. But it's possible for water to leave a Kli. You can have a Kli that water drips out of it, but if you put this Kli into another Kli full of water, water will not enter it. What's the difference? The halacha is that a kli that has a small hole in it, that water comes out of it, is kosher for the paraduma water, meichatas. And the reason is because in those days, people would, would not throw out a kli that has a small hole in it. They would use a gistera, which is a shard of another broken kli, and they would put it underneath to catch the water. Yet, that gistera, if it has a hole that lets out water, then it's mevatel that gistera. Why? Because you don't use a gistera for a gistera. You're not going to use a kli to catch water when that kli itself loses water. Now, if this kli has a hole large enough that water could go into it from the outside, then this kli is not a kli anymore. It's mevatel the kli. Now, how do you check to see if a kli lets water out and lets water in? So what you do is you take an empty kli and you put it into a large vessel that has water and you see if water goes in. Says Rabbi Yehuda, that's not a good way to check because the pressure, by you forcing this kli in, water is going to force its way into the kli. In fact, I just tried it earlier and you see the pressure, you see the water coming in with force. What you do is, says Rabbi, you flip the kli over, you put it into a kli that does not contain water yet, and you pour water over it. If water goes into the kli, then it's a kli that takes on water. Or, another way to do it is, you take the kli, and you light a fire underneath it. If the fire is able to stop the water from coming out, that's a kli that only lets water out and doesn't let water in. But if the water continues to pour out, that's a kli that can take on water. Rabbi Yossi says, it's not the fire, you have to put it on top of coals. Now, if a kli drips out, drip after drip, that's a shear of water that could come into the kli as well. Another theme that the Mishnah brings is that any aver that has a nail, a fingernail, that means it has a bone. But just because it has a bone doesn't mean it has a nail. The Allah is that a bone, etzim kisa'ira, is only mitama b'maga u b'masa, touching it and lifting it, but not b'ayal. If you have a kezayis of flesh, that's mitama b'ayal. If you have a full limb, even if it doesn't have a kezayis of basar, it's metama ba'il. Now, says the Mishnah that every limb of a person that has a nail must have a bone. And not every aver that has a bone has a nail. In other words, says the Gemara as follows. If you have, a person has an extra finger, extra digit, if it's together with the rest of his fingers, then it's considered an aver, regardless if it has a nail or not. But if it's on the other side, if his finger comes out, let's say from here, then if it has a nail, then it's a full-fledged aver, it's a limb, and it's a metal body. If it doesn't have an aver, and it doesn't have a kazai's basar, then it's not, if it doesn't have a nail, and doesn't have a kazai's basar, then it's not an aver, it's not a limb. Uh, garment, a kli, that's made to sit on is metama b'medras, 
but not every kli, and therefore it's metama tumas meis, but not every kli that's metama tumas meis is available for the tumah of medrus. The Gemara says that, for instance, a kli that's there for measuring and somebody sits on it, since it's not de- designed and designated for the use of sitting, somebody else will come over to you and say, get up, I need to use this kli for something else. That's not a kli, that's metama medrus. Have a wonderful day.